Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike from Mass here, Mass Aquariums, and uh, I'm gonna do a little five part series on Fish Keeper's lore. Fish Keeper's mistakes. You know, everybody loves to show their beautiful tanks and how awesome everything did, and nothing is wrong, and everything is right, but I'm gonna sh give you a little five part series on fish keeping mistakes that goes from the rookie all the way to the advanced and boom they meet in the middle because everybody does these and if you don't want to show it hey I'm gonna show it for you I'm gonna take the bullet for everybody else I don't know if these videos have been done before but I'm gonna do them right now number one first episode impulse buys now every rookie does an impulse buy I know I did you look at a fish at the fish store, you don't even know what type of environment it needs to live in. Does it need plants? Does it need a, this pH, that pH? Does it need no plants? What does this fish need? You just think it's beautiful and you want it right then and there. And most likely you're at a Petco or a PetSmart and they're not gonna even ask you what size tank you have. They're just gonna say, here you go, take it away. Now you have this Jack Dempsey who is so beautiful because it's this big and you put it in your little community tank 10 gallon, 20 gallon, what have you and you're like this fish is going to be awesome, I love this fish well guess what you made a bad purchase, you made an impulse buy just like we all do and I'm going to give you a little example I just made an impulse buy I'm not going to tell you what fish it was I'm gonna, not going to tell you what tank it was in but I shouldn't have made this buy I did a ton of research on this fish and I already knew what the parameters were, what the fish needed. I knew everything about this fish and I knew when I needed to buy it. Guess what? I went to my local fish store, I saw the fish, the price was right, I knew I had to have that fish right then and there. Even though I shouldn't have got that fish. And I got it. Now. This fish is two weeks in, and I'm gonna wait another two weeks, and I'm gonna show a video on this fish. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You guys can guess all you want. Put it in the comments. I'm not gonna answer the comments uh, for what the fish is, because I need to wait another two weeks. This fish needs to live for one month before I can tell you that it all worked out. But in most cases, it doesn't all work out. Impulse buys are from the rookie all the way up to the advanced fish keeper. Sometimes you just see that fish. You know you're not supposed to get it, but you just buy it. Everybody does it. Don't think that you will get away with not knowing what I'm talking about. Everybody does it. You see this beautiful fish and you want it right then and there. Doesn't matter. Get out your iPhone, get out your Samsung, whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm not supposed to have this fish, but I have to have it. They ne The fish store never has this fish. I'll figure out a way. I'll get another tank. You know, everybody does it. So, impulse buys. Rookie, too advanced, everybody does it. I'm going to give you four more parts to this series on fish keeping screw ups that everybody does not only beginners but advanced fish keepers and uh, I hope you enjoy this series I hope you enjoyed the first episode leave comments down below subscribe to Mass Aquariums I'm gonna put also a comment or not a comment I'm gonna put in the description of the Mass Aquariums Facebook page I'm also gonna put a description for the Aaron's Aquarium Facebook page these are great for Facebook pages for everything fresh water, salt water, cold water, tropical, you name it. We'll talk about it and uh, you guys will love it. This is Mike from Mass. I'm out.